Hey, back in the shop today, working on the Corvette. Um, Saturday, Huskers aren't playing Wisconsin today, so got plenty of time for the shop. Um, got all the front suspension off, the Ritex suspension, power steering unit, um, measured all measured for the gussets around the, the lower A-arm supports and cut out the steel. So I'll take a, we'll take a look here and I'll show you what I've done. I started by kind of making a little cardboard template. So you can see this is I kind of got a marked driver's side and passenger side. Um, but essentially made cardboard templates to um, help me mark and cut the gussets that I'm gonna do, put in here and I got some of the gussets done. I actually got all of these gussets done. So, I got a few gaps, small gaps here and there, um, but nothing that I can't fill in when I weld it up. So we're about ready to get get all of these tacked up and clean. what they look like here. So we'll get them tacked in place. Um, and then we'll come back and get them all welded up. Uh, give you a look at what it looks like kind of along the way. Okay, we got them tacked in place. I flipped the frame over just so I could look at the bottom, make sure everything looks like it's lined up. Um, see what we got going on there. So we'll get them welded up, and I'll let you take a look at it after we're done. After I've got them all welded in. Well, I'll give you a look at what I've got done so far. I just ran out of Stargon gas from a welder, so it'll be Monday before I can get my bottle refilled. So I got some of the welding done, but not all. Um, but, so here's the bottom side of the driver's side, um, kind of alternated. And you can kind of see when I start getting bubbles like that, or when I start getting pinholes like that, um, that's your first clue that you don't have enough shielding gas. So when I saw that, checked my bottle out, realized that my bottle was empty. So I'm done welding for the day until I get more gas. Um, but we've got other things that we can get accomplished today.